I think there's a lot of misconceptions about public art. There's a lot of misconceptions about muralism. I think these discussions not only help to contextualize muralism within the wider context of art, but help to talk about the extent to which muralism fits into our urban fabric. I do think that it's important to start inspiring our youth from a young age and start putting art in our schools because without art we really don't have much creativity and without creativity we don't have ideas and without ideas we don't have much growth or um, evolution as a person I guess especially as a student. Growing up around here, I, I didn't see murals around. It wasn't until we, my parents took us out to Boyle Heights, East LA, going to El Mercadito, you know, through La Soto and La Broadway back then, um, that we, you know, that I actually saw that. I saw a lot of Chicano art, I saw a lot of graffiti, and it was very impactful. Everybody needs art in their life, either to um, lift you up for therapy, um, one of the most happiest places on earth. They have murals all over, so um, I'm pretty sure. Like, so I, I, I figured that um, like murals is something that everybody needed. So that's what hold me down to kept on doing what I, what I, like my passion. If I see a photograph of my mural with nobody in front of it, I'm like, that's cool. But when I see people in front of it, my mural looks way better. Just to get that conversation going, that's the main thing, getting the conversation started. A lot of people and places don't want art, they don't understand it, they don't care for it. But there is something to it and it's important and it's the first thing that gets taken away in our school system. But this is the first thing that we want to implement in the communities because it's so important. Um, it, it captures, you know, your, the emotions, the, you know, your imagination, however you're feeling, you identify with it. You see yourself in a piece of artwork and think, oh my God, that's me, that's my family or whatever it is. Things like this are important to start that conversation, to go to that next level of, okay, so what can we do in our community to implement more art? Our second annual Cella Arts Festival, if you haven't heard about it, it's going to take place on July 27th, and we're really excited. The, the festival helped to, to give folks a sense of, of the full scope and uh, the full range and scope of artists in the district. There have always been artists here in, the, in Southeast Los Angeles working here, living here, but I think it helped them to kind of see one another, and it also helped the community to, to see uh, the artists and, and all of their work as well.